So this is uh, the sleeping part of sitting, sleeping, standing. And you can see Allie's laying here. And you can see her eyes keep popping open, so that's not okay. The eyes should stay closed, so let's raise this up a little bit. And go ahead and lay there. And you can see her eyes actually close a little bit better, but not much. Now, does that feel very different than the other one? It does. It does. So odds are, if this, and she actually goes a little bit backward, feels very different than, go ahead, lay down. Then that does. See, now I push, she doesn't go backwards. She actually comes a little bit forward. So the difference in height here is that this, this is too low. And when I put this on, it's too high. So now we're going to try something a little bit less in height, which is here. And her eyes pop open still. And she falls forward. So this is still too low. So we're going to raise this up some more. And this is not quite as high as that other piece, these two. And we lay there. She lays there. And her eyes still pop open. And so we're going to take one of the thin layers. Pick your head up. And down. See, now you have the opposite. Now she's trying to keep her eyes open and they blink shut. All right, let your eyes just relax. You opening them or are they opening? They're opening, right? Let your body relax. Yeah, they open. Pick your head up. And we go. This, is, this layer is actually a little bit thinner than the other one. We're going to add it to that. And there, she can't get her eyes open. Let your eyes relax. So you can see, even though they're, they're sort of fluttering, they stay closed. But here, pick your head up. If we take this away, okay. See, they just naturally open. Now, if we use this one, pick your head up, which is just a tiny bit thicker than the other one. <clears throat> See, same thing, her eyes immediately pop open. When we go to, when you get just the right height, the eyes close by themselves and they just stay closed. And the person lays there and doesn't move all night. And that's how you develop your pillow height. What you do is you, you start either too, way too low and go until it's too high. And if you can't tell if it's too high, just keep going until it's obviously too high. And then go down until it's obviously too low. And then go up until it's obviously too high. And then keep doing that process. And eventually you'll hit a spot if you're doing this by yourself. You won't feel good. Right? You notice your body at all here? No. See, now, the, the, you know the answer is no because I asked the question... And she had to move around to find it. So if I pick, pick this up and I put this one here, whoops. <clears throat> now we know your eyes stay open here, but does that feel comfortable? Close to the other, but no. Is this one higher? I, I didn't ask if it felt like the other. No, I asked if it felt comfortable. No, something's wrong. Okay. Pick your head up and down. Does that feel comfortable? Better, but not See that, perfect. Yeah. yeah. Most people will tell you that actually feels more comfortable. Pick your head up. Than that. Now, Allison's used to sleeping on the correct size pillow, so she may notice a difference. But your average patient will tell you if it's a little bit too high or a little bit too low, it actually feels more comfortable than when you get to just the right height, because when you get to just the right height, you don't notice your body. Now the interesting thing is, as I'm talking here, you'll notice Allison, if you wind the film back a little bit, Allison was trying to keep her eyes open and she had trouble doing it. They just kept blinking closed. 
And that's how you find the right pillow height. Now that we have the pillow height right, I want to mention this is a foam mattress and it can't give. All right, this, this gives very little. And it's got to be a stiff foam mattress. Um, Allison has actually spent a couple years, what, three years, getting a manufacturer to get the latex exactly right for the mattresses that we sell. And it says there, you have to have a solid base. Um, we actually had uh, box springs that had a little, some ribs in them. And Allison said, something's wrong. And I said, I don't know, it feels pretty good. And she had me get plywood. We put the plywood over it so it's exactly flat. And immediately I noticed a difference. So for mattresses, you'll contact Allison, which is this person you're looking at right here. She has the mattress right. She got the pillows right. And uh, literally, you'll, you'll sleep like this and you won't move all night.